So let's just get started. And, and there can be, of course, different things. Like maybe we may have excavation and then we will calculate the dry budgery. You can say that is just uh, at the base. And then uh, we may determine the number of pipes and of course the number of joints, okay? And then uh, the the final thing, which is actually the refilling, okay? And the refilling means uh, just to fill these areas, okay? It is a very simple thing without the pipe, okay? So refilling is must then. So what happens is actually, I'm gonna start uh, with, uh, even I can do this uh, manually, uh, but I think Excel can be a good way to do these things, okay? Maybe uh, practically. So number first, we have actually, uh, and let me just have, let's say, serial number, okay? These things uh, I think must be, and then description we have, and then we may have number, then the length, then the width, okay? And the height, of course, or depth, and then the quantity, and of course, remorse. Now, in serial number, we have first, that is, we will have actually uh, an excavation, okay? And you can you can type many things related to an excavation, like maybe uh, in ordinary soil, let, let's say up to 3.5 feet. And let me just uh, read the text so you guys can see the whole thing. Now, in number, it can be only one because this is just a single sewer line. And another thing is actually the length. Length that is already known, which is 300 feet. Okay, you can see that in the terms. So I can put 300 over here. The width or breadth that is just told, you can see it. Okay, it is only three feet. So three over there. Now, the height, as you can see, it is also known, which is 3.5. Okay, from the uh, uh, ground level. Okay, we can just dig below the ground level. So it's very simple. So the height that is uh, 3.5. Now, what you have to do is actually you can just apply that formula, okay? Like maybe uh, the length, the breadth, the height, and, and so on, okay? So it is the same thing, like maybe the height times the breadth, which is actually the cross-sectional area, you can say. And then, of course, the length, and then, of course, the number of members, you can say, and press enter. So we have actually this. And let me just put another column over here, like maybe for the units, okay? What do you say, units? So we may have another column maybe for the units, and this is now in CFT, okay, very simple. As you can see, we have another thing, which is number two, and that is just actually the dry budgery, like that. And the N number, that should be one, length is just the same thing, but it's just the same thing. You can see this, that this is this, the dry budgery, okay? Uh, this thing, you can see it, okay? And, and of course, this is actually uh, nine inches, okay? Uh, I mean, uh, the thickness or maybe the depth of the dry budgery, that is only nine inches. It, it is not shown in the diagram, however, but that is nine inches, okay? Don't be just confused with that. So the, the height that is just known, which is of course nine inches are 0.75 feet okay let me just write nine inches over there so you guys can uh, understand these things okay uh, you can say this is just nine and then inches now uh we have the length the uh, vector and then of course the height and that should be actually uh, i'm gonna drag the formula just like a little bit like this way okay and again because we have three dimensions so uh, the unit must be n cube uh, feet. Okay. Now, another thing is actually the number of pipes. You can say number three, and that is actually the number of pipes. But in the same way as we do, of course, the calculation for the uh, main bar or maybe distributions bar for a slave. Okay. And we have done that, uh, of course, many times. Okay. So the number of pipes can be actually, we will put the formula over here. That should be the length we can take this length or that one does not matter because it is just a known thing okay so the length and we will just divide that by the uh, length of one uh, pipe and that is of course six feet okay press enter so we have actually 50 numbers and in the quantity that is 50 we can put that over there and of course the unit can be in numbers 
because uh, the, the pipes are just, you can say, determined in terms of numbers. Now, the number of joints, it can be actually uh, uh, just the same thing uh, because uh, of, you can say 50 minus one, but why minus one? Let's say 50 and then we will put the minus sign over there and one and which is 49. Okay, so the quantity can be 49 and the unit is post numbers. Why minus one? Because at the end, when we dispose, you can say, uh, or you can say at the disposal point, uh, we don't actually join pipes over there. Uh, and if you don't understand, let me just uh, draw something, uh, if I can do it. Okay, let's say we have pipe, and let me just rotate this thing over here, okay? Let's say this is a pipe. You guys can see it, okay? Confirm it, please. Okay, so, so this is actually a pipe. Now, what we do actually, we join these two pipes and uh, another pipe, let's say, and so on, okay? This is the same way we actually join pipes, okay? Now, let me just have some, uh, okay. Now, here, we we join the, the start of the pipe with a main source, you can say, okay? And then this pipe can be joined over here, over here, okay? Over here, and now let's say, over here we have a main saver, like you can say sewer line. So here we don't actually need uh, uh, the, the join, okay? Because data just, uh, you can say, uh, the, the end of the pipe. So at the end, we may not have joints. That's why we are subtracting one. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So the number of joints, that's just done. And the only thing which is uh, remaining now is actually the refilling, okay? We have to refill uh, the same trench uh, after digging or maybe after excavation, okay? Because uh, uh, when we lay the pipe, of course, the these empty spaces are then just filled again. So number five, and it can be actually refilling of a trench, you can say. And in number, it can be only one. Length can be the same thing, uh, which is, of course, 300. It's very simple. Now, where should be the breadth and then the height? It, it is, of course, the cross-sectional area. But remember one thing, to determine this cross-sectional area, which is the empty spaces, it is like very, uh, you can say, a complex uh, process. So the, the best thing is actually, uh, we have already determined the excavation, so we will just subtract the volume of the pipe from the excavation. And of course, that becomes the refilling then, okay? And if you remember the total excavation, that is just known. You don't have to write them again, again, and again, does not matter. But the total excavation, it is over here, and that is known, okay? 3, 1, and 50, okay? And this is, of course, CFT. I'll just calculate the volume of the pipe. What do you say? Okay, so I can say that the pipe volume, and in number, I'm gonna have one pipe. I can even put, 50 uh, in numbers, but this time I'm going to consider the overall length is the pipe length, okay? And which is, of course, just 300. You can say the overall uh, length. Now, the pipe width and then the height is actually something which you can say we can uh, determine the cross sectional area because length, uh, height times breadth, that is actually the cross sectional area, but the cross sectional area of pipe can be actually pi d squared divided by 4. What do you say? Okay, so pi d squared divided by 4, we can put that formula over here. What you have to do is actually to have equal, and then uh, you can, of course, use pi and empty brackets, you can say, and then d square. Now, the diameter, that's very important thing. That is 11 inches. We're going to take the external diameter because the volume, uh, as you can say, the, the volume that is just occupied or taken by the same pipe is actually just involved. Okay, I mean, that external diameter is just involved, okay? I mean, uh, I'm gonna have the uh, 11 inches diameter, okay? And I'm gonna have the square for it. Now, 11 inches is actually something like 0 0.9167. And I'm gonna put, uh, you can say, a square over there, and let's close the bracket. And now let's just divide this thing by the four, okay? Let's rearrange the formula, and Excel will do that for you. This is actually uh, 0.66 something, okay? And this is the cross-sectional area. Now we will multiply this cross-sectional area with actually the uh, length and then the number, okay? That is one which is not necessary that much. 
but 198 that is actually the the volume of the uh, pipe okay and that is of course in cft now if you see the refilling actually the net refilling can be determined very simple what i have to do is actually i'm going to put a formula over here and i'm going to uh, actually subtract the pipe volume from the total excavation this is the total excavation we will subtract the pipes volume and press enter so we have actually something like uh, 2952 but one thing which is actually very necessary and we will also subtract the volume of the budgery what do you say that's very important now because in excavation okay as you can see uh the depth of the excavation that is 3.5 okay feet however were there budgeries volume is also included so let's just subtract the budgeries volume again okay and we will actually subtract the budgeries volume and what's the dry budgery and what's it's over here okay so press enter again and that is of course uh, 2277 cft the refilling work this is this is very simple now another thing which is really important to note is actually uh, if you see the depth that is 3.5 feet so this is actually the mean depth if you have uh different depths maybe at start and then at the end okay let's say i'm if i can do it uh, let me have my pen and let's say if we have something like this we're here we have this section okay and let's say this is maybe uh, the same thing okay here if the di uh, the depth is different what do you say let's say if the depth over here is maybe three feet and over there if the depth is two feet then actually you have to take the mean depth which is over here you have to sum these two three plus two and you have to divide that by two which is actually an average video so that's going to be 2.5 feet then you don't have to provide uh three feet okay in the calculation or maybe two feet what you have to provide is actually the mean one in the same uh example as you can see this 3.5 that is actually something which is the mean depth okay 